Hi guys, welcome back to Rudresh Reddit channel. Hope you all are fantastic. In today's class, we are discussing about Dynatrace Click Path Monitoring. First of all, what is the meaning of it? Dynatrace Click Path Monitoring is a feature of the synthetic monitoring that simulates real user behavior on your website or a web application. So with the help of this, instead of waiting for the real user to report our problems, Dynatrace can run the automated browser script so that can open your website or click the links or enter the text like your username or password then click on the submit form. So all those things will be captured automatically and it will check the information at the regular intervals. Okay, so that it will be very useful to find out is there any errors, is there any slowness or the downtime before your users are affected. So how to do that? Let me explain. Right now I am connected to the Dynatrace console then we should go into synthetic classic okay in the synthetic classic i have already created three synthetic monitors you can see the different types here one is from browser click path and another two from the browser so these browsers are like loading page related single url browser monitor okay and along with this at the left hand side you will get the more detailed information like what are the status of those synthetic monitors and what are the types what is the device profile used to check that one and what are the locations we have used to check the availability of those urls so that you can get the complete overview here and you can change the screen however you want for example if it feels like this will be looks good then go for the first option if you want to see in this manner then go for the second option right now I will show you how to do the click path monitoring so that you need to click on the create synthetic monitor and then click on create browser monitor. We have one more option called HTTP related. I will talk about that in the next class. Okay, let me give an URL here HTTPS www.google.com Okay. So based on the given name, it will choose the name of the monitor. Please enter the valid URL. Okay, let me put one more forward slash. It will take automatically, right? Validating URL is externally accessible. Suppose if the URL is not externally accessible, then you need to use the private location. So in this demonstration, I'm using the location, whatever the address has given. So if you want to use your own location, you need to install the ActiveGate and then you can take use of that. I will explain about that in the future classes. Now I will give the name for this monitor as google.com. Then here we have two options, visual mode and script mode. Visual mode means the one which we are right now. If you want to create based on the script, then go for the script mode, you can type everything here. So better we should go for the usual mode so that it will be use, uh, easy for us to select the options. Then comes device profile. You need to select the device from which it should check the availability of that URL. You can choose desktop or if you want to use Apple series or Samsung or Google Pixel related, you can choose based on that. Okay, let me go with the default option that is desktop. Okay, and the screen size it is using 1920 into 1080. Then bandwidth. So how uh, you want to check whether by using the Wi-Fi or by using the regular 3G or good 2G, if you want to use any particular option, you can go ahead and use that one. Okay. Then comes additional option. If you want to take use of any particular username and password to check that one, then enable this global login authentication, provide the credential here and set it. Likewise, you can enable the additional HTTP headers. Also, if you want to set the cookies, you can select this and provide the cookie name and value, right? So like that, you need to give here. If you scroll a little down, you will find an option called click path events. This is what we are more interested, right? So how to do the click path events? If you want to do it manually, here is the option. Manually add the click path events. If you click on that, it will open the next page where you can give the path details, like exact URL details manually one by one. If you want to record, then go for the first option. Since I have connected to this Dynatrace environment for the first time, it is showing as install Dynatrace synthetic record. If you are already installed, then you will be able to find the option called record only. Okay. Let me show you that 
I will just click on install Dynatrace Synthetic Recorder. It is in just a Chrome extension. You need to download it. Here is click on no thanks and then click on get. Allow the extension from the other stores. Then click on allow add extension so that you are able to see the Dynatrace Synthetic Recorder extension here. Okay. So just wait for one or two seconds. It is adding to the Microsoft Edge. Once it is completed, we'll go back to the Dynatrace console and we'll see that. Okay. Now you can see that it is added successfully. Let me click on close. Here you will find that option Dynatrace Synthetic Recorder. Earlier it was not there. Now I have added it. Okay. So how I have added it, you got to know, right? Just go to the Synthetic Recorder page and then click on Install a Synthetic Recorder. As I said, it is just one time activity. Okay. Next time when you try to do any synthetic monitor, that time it will not show inst install Dynatrace Synthetic Recorder. Instead of that, it will give just record option. Okay. Now I simply reloaded the same page. If you come down, now you are able to find an option called use the recorder without incognito mode. But below that record click path option is disabled. Like how to do, I mean, how to enable that one? Simple. Just click on this option. It will get enabled automatically. Now, click on record click path so that it will go to the synthetic recorder extension whatever we are downloaded so in the previous page we are given www.google.com that is what it is connected directly if you are given yahoo.com then it will connect it to that if you are given amazon.com it will connect it to that so based on that it will connect for example now i will search as www.amazon okay dot in so now i have connected to this particular website and then I'll click on shop online at Amazon India. Then I'll click on allow option also. So whatever the things I do here, everything will get captured there. Okay. For example, I want to see related to this boat headphones related. So I'll click on boat so that it will also get captured here from the starting of the page, like opening the google.com to till now, whatever I have done, everything is get captured so that then address when it tries to run that it will follow the same structure. It will try to run the same thing. If it finds any difficulty to open or to load that one, it will create the problems for that. Okay. Now I will click on this option add to cart so that it will go to the next page. I am okay with this much navigations. Once you are okay with the navigation, just click on this cross mark so that everything will get recorded here. Like whatever the steps we have followed so far, we are able to see the same thing here. Like loading the page then click on shop online at amazon india then click on boat related okay so these are the steps we followed right if you want to see in a great like a big picture then click on this option playback click path and then click on playback so that it will give the idea like whatever we have done so far it is captured here and it is showing it to us so that we will be very much confident that whatever we have followed is captured properly right this is what i done right i am not doing anything Everything it is doing automatically. First is connected to Google, then it connected to that Amazon.com. Now it will click on the boat option. Then it will go to one particular uh, boat headphone, right? These are these are the steps we followed, right? So everything is captured automatically. Okay. Hope you understood this point. Now I will close this one instead of wasting the time. I'm okay with this all this uh, capturing point. Play back window was closed. Okay, I closed that. That is what it is giving. Then I will click on next. So all the things were captured. Now we are in the frequency and location page where we need to select the location from which location it should check this one or how often it should check. For example, 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 30 minutes. As I said in my previous class also, here you will get an interview question or exam question also. What is the minimum time they will ask? Keep this information in the mind. Every 5 minutes it will check. If you come down, you will see the locations from which place you want to run this web URL or the click path monitoring if you want to do the filtering here that option is available you can do that for example based on the country for example i will search by the name india is there anything yes india is there so that corresponding location details it will give chennai is there mumbai is there and pune is there let me choose chennai and pune from these two location i want to run that url then click on next so this is the summary page like whatever the url details we have given and whatever the configuration we have done and what is the total cost involved for this and recorded click paths how many are there like events it will calculate we have done seven events like going to google.com is one event then amazon.com is second event and then you click on board that is third event 
after that you find one head for is interesting then you click on that that is also another event like that it got captured each and everything and if you want to make any modification in the screen cell that is also possible just click on change url for modifying the change url or the name details and for the configuration changes click on this and for the click path related click on this i'm okay with the options whatever i selected so far so that i'll finally click on create browser monitor okay this is how you need to create the click path monitoring very simple step only just make sure that you have installed that uh, synthetic recorder in your machine otherwise it is not possible if you don't want to install that synthetic recorder you can go for the manual click path also what is manual click path you have to give the event details manually for example www.google.com that is one event once you connected you searched by something like amazon.com for that also there is one url right you need to copy that and give it to the click path in, in the click path details that is the manual method if you don't want to go into that step take use of synthetic recorder and capture your events now it is setting up your monitor once it is done you are able to see the availability and what is the total downtime and from which locations this is capturing and load actions so many matrix you will able to see once everything is captured properly because i have set it as 5 minutes so it will run every 5 minutes and also if you come down whatever the events were captured so everything is here right now it is in the unknown stage because still the monitoring setup is going on once this is done you are able to see that okay i have stopped and reshared the screen so that i can show you the matrix or how the environment will be okay so you can see right now 30 minutes downtime it is clearly telling whatever the synthetic event recorder has recorded the click path right it is not able to connect or it is clearly telling it is down why it is down so if you want to know that information you need to come down and here you will see the availability information zero availability why because global outage means whatever the location we have selected from that it is not able to check that availability that is what it is showing and if you want to know what are all the things we have captured you are able to see it here these are the things right loading the google web page and then we have searched www.amazon.in and after that we have selected this option boat and then we have selected a one more option like that it is capturing the records one by one and it is executing based on the time interval how you will come to know the time interval it is given here browser monitor configured to run from two location every 5 minutes and if there are any errors how we will come to know in this page if you come down you are able to see the problems here okay what are the problems triggered by particularly this synthetic monitor and this side you will see what all are the events we have captured okay and if you scroll a little down you are able to see the events you are able to see the events browser monitor global outages means whatever we have selected from that it is not able to communicate or the location itself is down that uh, uh, vm or whatever we have chosen right pune or bombay from that it is not connecting and if there are any errors that information you will see inside this error box there are 12 errors so if you want to see what are those errors just click on that and then click on analyze you can get the detailed information about that then so as we have chosen two locations in the world map also we are able to see that what are those one is chennai and then another one is pune so there are two locations we have selected chennai and pune and it is telling availability is zero because from that location we are not able to check it maybe the server was itself down or they are not working properly that is what whenever we are creating this synthetic recorder monitoring in our environment we have to use the private location okay we should not take use of the public locations just to show you or just to give the demo here i have chosen the public locations but when it comes to the reality we have to choose private location at the time of installing the or creating the synthetic recorder it will ask the location so on the top level you are able to see only performance synthetic events analyze and then synthetic sessions on demand and view setting if you want to know more information just click on this drop down button you are able to get the detailed information of the data if you click on events it will directly connect to events if you uh, click on problems it will go to the problem space if you click on world map it will come to the world map but at the top you are able to see only this much information here okay this is how you need to configure the click path monitoring hope you got some idea right we need to install the synthetic recorder extension first then we need to capture the path into that so that installing the synthetic record is one time activity 
If you try to create a, another synthetic recorder now, it will not ask for the install. Directly it will ask for the what? Record click path. I will show you that also. For example, if you click on create synthetic monitor now and then click on browser monitor. Here it will ask for, let me give www.yahoo.com. Okay. So based on that, it will validate the URL and if everything is good, it will take the name out of it. And then if you come down, now you are able to see the record path, path right? Earlier what it is showing, install the recorder extension. But now it will not ask why, because we have already installed the directory synthetic recorder. Okay. This is how you need to configure the synthetic recorder. Hope you got some idea. Thank you so much for watching till the end and bye for now.